Hey guys, welcome to the channel. And today we're talking about Luminar Neo, AI powered photography editing software. My thoughts on it, let's go. Now, full disclosure, Skylum did send me Luminar Neo for me to test out. But if you wanna support this channel, you can click the link below and get 10% off of Luminar Neo with a affiliate link and it would really help out the channel. Now, as a photographer, anything that can make my job easier, I'm all for it. I shoot a lot of weddings, I shoot a lot of fashion work. I need the extra boost in productivity if I can get it. And with artificial intelligence software, you're really seeing the push to unlock your creativity and save you time with a lot of things when you're editing. Now, one of the things I really wanted to focus on is how to work with Luminar Neo with my workflow. So this first photo, if you see right here, I shot it with the Canon R6 24 to 70. Um, it's a beautiful photo of a awesome model named Angie that I worked with. The first thing you want to do is import your images and then you want to go to edit. And when you're in edit, you're going to see all of these different tools that you can use. A lot of them are AI based and a lot of them are just essential editing, you know, tools that you're used to, like exposure, contrast like that. First thing I would do with an image like this is I'm going to mess around with the development settings of this. I'm going to add a little bit of exposure to it. We're going to use the smart contrast feature, which I think is really cool. I'm going to mess around with the shadows. I'm going to add a little bit of the highlights. I'm liking the way that looks. I'm then going to go to color. We're going to take this color dropper right here, and I'm just going to select a gray spot in the image. So color temperature wise, I think that looks really good. We zoom into the image. I'm liking that the dress looks nice. If you want to see what you did, you just use this eyedropper, select it before, after I'm liking the way that looks. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to structure AI. Now structure AI is good for if you have a lot of detail that you really want to reveal, like let's say you're shooting a image with like sand, you know, uh, you know, dirt, something like that, where you really want the texture structure. AI is going to give you that texture back a little bit, but for this image, I actually want to take away some of the texture. So what I'm going to do is zoom in and I'm going to bring it down to about, let's say 15. Another reason why I like to do this is I like it to have more of a softer filmic look. And if you see very subtle, but I'm actually pulling down a lot of the structure in the skin. One of the coolest things that Luminar Neo has is the Relight AI. Now, why I like Relight AI is it kind of separates the images into a couple different layers. So if you were using like a Photoshop or something like that, you would need to mask out the front, the back, you know, whatever layers your images have, the foreground, the middle ground, and the background. But with Relight AI is it kind of separates those different layers using the artificial intelligence. So what we're gonna do is brightness near, we're gonna adjust it, and then brightness far is doing the opposite. It's bringing the background down a little bit. I'm not gonna go crazy with it. You can really get crazy with it and kind of get a little bit less real looking, less natural looking in my opinion. So I'm just gonna bring it down just a smidge. Now, if you want to do some color grading and you want to use LUTs, Luminar Neo has that. So what we're going to do is go to mood and circle through a few of their LUTs. Now you can add custom LUT files if you also want to do that. I'm going to mess around with some of the ones that they actually have. We have Anaheim, we have Bakersfield. I'm going to use the Long Beach. I like what it's doing. If you see before, after, I like how it's bringing a little bit of saturation and a little bit of warmth to her skin. Now, a cool feature that Luminar Neo has is the face AI. Now the face AI is going to allow you to bring a little bit more light to the face. It's going to allow you to shape the face, you know, kind of like liquefying your, your face that you would do in like Photoshop or something like that. And it's going to allow you to adjust the eyes, the iris, the mouth. It's got a lot of cool features. So we're going to mess around with it right now. So first thing we're going to do is add a little bit of light to the face. If you go like this, you can see that it's bringing in a way too much. If we go before and after, you can see that it gives it a little bit more of a highlight to the face. Cool thing you can do is you can also mess with the slim face function on here. And that's going to give your, if you go kind of crazy, it's going to give it more of a super liquefied look that you can see there. We're going to bring it down just a little bit. Next thing we're going to do is, is click the eye section on the face AI. And we're going to mess around with the eye whitening. Just bring it up a little bit. We're going to mess around with the zoom into it. 
I Iris Flare. If you go Iris Flare here, you can see how it went crazy. If you go right here, somewhere in the middle. With a lot of these tabs, you're gonna want to err on the more, you know, minimal, you know, subtle um, approach when you're using these tabs. Just, in, just a great rule of thumb is never overdo anything you do when it comes to editing. Dark circle removal. She doesn't have any dark circles under her eyes, but if you want to, if you had a person who really did, you can kind of bring it like up like that and you can kind of see that what it would do. I'm not going to do anything with that because I think it looks great. We're going to use the improve eyebrow function. It's just going to darken the eyebrows, almost kind of like a dodge and burn type situation. And we're going to zoom out. And if you go right here, you can see before, after. I love what it's doing to the eyes. I love how it slimmed the face and I love how it brought a little bit more light to the face as well. Now, when you're editing a lot of photos, having tools like this that are AI powered is gonna be really clutch for you. One of the biggest things that's gonna be a benefit for you as a photographer is the skin AI. Now, the skin AI is gonna give your skin more of a retouched look, a airbrushed look. It's gonna also keep a lot of the texture kind of like a frequency separation. So we're gonna bring up the skin AI to about 40. We can go zoom in on here. Let's zoom in a little bit like right here. So you guys can see before, after, before, after. And if we zoom in even further, before, after. It's kind of just smoothing out a lot of the uh, skin imperfections and I'm really liking the way it looks. The next cool editing feature that this software has is body AI. So body AI is gonna just adjust the shape a little bit. Now the model looks fantastic. I don't really think you need to do much to this model, but if you really do find yourself wanting to reshape the body, you can kind of move this slider right here. I'll go over the top so you can see what it does. Not natural, not a good look, but it, if you go the other way, it widens it out. But if you go a little bit on the, let's say, like around five, five, I think that looks pretty good. Kind of brings the dress in a little bit. And then the other slider, kind of does the same, kind of brings the dress in a little bit. So before, after, I think that looks great. Now let's work on an image that's a little bit more challenging from the same setup. So we're gonna go to this image right here. I'm gonna first copy the adjustments that I have right here, go into this, right click, and paste those adjustments onto the image, and just wait. I'm gonna keep most of the stuff the same. The only thing I'm gonna do in here that's gonna change I'm going to make the exposure different. I'm going to add a little bit more smart contrast to the image. Bring the highlights down a little bit. Bring the shadows down. And I think that looks really good. So now, if you go before and after, everything looks fantastic. The only thing I want to also do to this image, which I think, compared to the other image, this image is a little bit more underexposed. The reason being is I really like this little... Uh, this little gradient that went from light to dark and I really wanted to keep that so I kind of underexposed the model if you can kind of tell. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the relight function again and we're going to mess around with the brightness near and just bring her up a little bit and I think that's looking really good. Brightness far we're going to bring it down. The only thing I would also do here is I would probably just because this image is a little different than the other one I would mess around with the skin you really want to get rid of the skin like that you can actually go into the function the erase function so you go to erase function kind of just circle the stuff you want to erase and clone it and i think that looks pretty good awesome so then another thing I want to do with this image is if you look right here, because I underexposed it, there's a look almost like a raccoon eyes um, underneath her underneath her eyes. So we're going to go to face AI and we're going to go to the dark circle removal and we're going to bring that up to about right there. And if you look here, we have before, after, and I think that looks way better. Now, one of the coolest features that Luminar Neo has is the Sky AI. A lot of times when I'm traveling with my wife or we're on trips, you're not always, you know, on a trip with the best weather conditions. You're going to have cloudy skies. You're going to have images that have basically no detail in the clouds. And in this particular image right here, this is an image that I shot in Japan. 
in Tokyo a couple years back. And I just want to show that there's not really detail in this sky. So with this image right here, we're going to use sky AI. We're going to use the sky selection, pick whichever one you want right here that's already loaded in here. And you can also load other skies into sky AI. And that looks fantastic. If you look right here before, after, it kind of blends the sky into your image with a natural sky that kind of fits whatever vibe you want. And what's great is if you, for some reason, go, you know what, I don't want that one, you can switch it up to a different sky. I particularly would always go a little bit more subtle with it. I think this one right here looks very subtle. And you can also mess around with the scene relighting. So what Sky AI is going to try to do is take the image of the sky and kind of blend it into the image that you're trying to edit. So if you find that that's not the vibe you want to go for or not the look you're going for, you can kind of mess around with the the strength of that you can mess around with the saturation of that and you can also mess around with the reflection if you look at the water in this image it's kind of bringing that sky into the water i think it's cool i like that i just wouldn't want to do too much of that and i think as far as the sky adjustments i would want it a little bit out of focus just a little bit out of focus maybe like one or two and i would want it a little bit brighter just to have match the image and you can make it a little bit cooler too so with this image same thing my beautiful wife we're gonna mess around with the sky this is before this is after i think that's great just adding a little bit of clouds to the background really makes your images pop now let's use luminar neo sky ai and also a few of their other features on an image that i shot a couple years back on this channel if you recognize it and what I want to do on this image is I think I went a little too desaturated with it. I had no clouds in that sky. I want to fix that and let's see what Luminar Neo can do. So what we're going to do is use the sky AI again. Perfect. I think this guy right here, which is sky bright blue sky two. The next thing we're going to do is now that we have replaced the sky before, after, I feel like the skin of this model is a little too desaturated. I was going to uh, a really more desaturated look at that time. So we're gonna go into the color harmony tool and we're gonna add a little bit of brilliance to the image. And I think that's fantastic. Now AI editing tools are just another tool for your toolbox as a photographer. A lot of times images are gonna need way deeper retouching, but if you need something quick and you know simple to use, I think Luminar Neo is really great and can really help you out as a photographer. Now that's all I have to say about Luminar Neo. Let me know if you have any questions about AI editing in the comments below, and I will see you next time. See you later. Peace.